Welcome to this second video tutorial on how to create a website. If you remember, our first tutorial was all about creating the layout of our website. In this case, we created a website for Aquapark with a header, a navigation bar, a main content area, a right panel, and a footer. Then we looked at how to change the colors of the different sections of the website. We even looked at how to add a background gradient effect. And finally, we added a shadow to the main page of our website. Okay, we also looked at how to add some text and we've added a heading one text, h1 tag, as well as one paragraph. We're now going to look at adding pictures to our website. So we're going to add a logo in the header section, some navigation buttons, and a web banner on the right hand side. Now, before we do so, we need to make sure that we've saved all our pictures into our images folder of our website. So if you look at my website folder, I've got an images subfolder and all my pictures are stored over, over there. We also need to make sure that every single file has a meaningful file name. Um, that will make it make our life a lot easier. If it's not the case, you can always right click on a file to rename and type the file that you want to give the file name that you want to give to this file. Okay, so the first picture I'm going to add now is my logo. Okay, one thing that we need to understand and is that although these are all pictures, they have different format, they have different file extension. If I roll over this one here, it tells me here that this is a PNG picture. Um, these are not all PNG pictures. Some of them might be GIF, like this one, a GIF item type is a GIF image. Um, some of them might be JPEG files. Okay, uh, I've got a, a picture to explain this to you. So to sum up, we've got three types of pictures on the web, PNG files, JPEG pictures, .jpg, and GIF files. And we call these file extensions. Uh, the difference between those at this stage, well, we one of the main differences is that PNG does support transparency. So for my logo, for instance, I want to have a transparent background. Um, I've made sure that my logo was saved as a PNG. Um, JPEG is good for any types of pictures and your camera phone, for instance, will probably, will probably take JPEG pictures. And GIF is used in some context. Uh, one purpose of GIF uh, is that it can be used for animated GIFs, so like moving pictures. So coming back to my images folder, the first picture I'm going to add is the logo. And first I need to find out what type of picture it is. And when I roll over it, you can see it tells me it's a PNG. Another way is to right click on the picture to view the properties, or you can also click on the properties icon over there. Uh, and you can see here the extension is .png. So I've got the file name, logo, the extension .png, and it's into my images folder. Now, all of these pieces of information are really important. So I'm going to cancel this. Going back to my website, I'm going to find my code. And I need to find where I want to add my logo. Now, if you remember, this was all the CSS. Um, and then the HTML content is over there. Now, we've got different tags here, different section. This is my page header. This is my navigation bar. This is my main content and so on. Now, the logo will be in the page header. So I'm going to add it between the opening div tag and the closing div tag. Okay. Um, and I'm going to use an IMG tag. The first attribute of this tag is the SRC, which stands for source. And this is where I'm going to put the file name that I want to use um, for this picture. So. Um, I've got to first put the folder name, so it's the images folder, then the file name, logo, and then the extension .png. And you see how all the pieces of information were relevant. Folder name, file name, file extension. If I save this, I can see what it's going to look like on my website. I can refresh this page, and this is how it appears. Um, I actually quite like the size of this logo here, but if it was too big or too small, 
I could actually resize it within my HTML or I could resize it within my graphic editing software such as Paint, Paint.net or Photoshop. So let's look at my code. Um, just to show you how to resize a picture, um, you can use into your IMG tag another attribute such as the width for instance and I can set the width to 100 pixels for instance and see what happens. Width equal 100. If I save this and refresh my page, uh, you can see here it's now tiny. Uh, it's a lot far too small so I'm not going to use that at this stage. But I could play with the number 100 being too small. I would possibly put 500 or something. Okay, so but actually the size I had was perfectly fine. So I'm actually going to remove this at this stage. Um, another thing I can do is I can use a center tag around this here to start um, centering my IMG tag. So that will make the picture appear in the middle of the footer. Okay, let's try this. Let's see what happened in my code here. Refresh, center, aqua park. Perfect. I'm, go I'm going to do the same now for my navigation bar where I'm going to put all the buttons one at a time. So remember, first step is to look at my folder. I need to retrieve, well, the folder name will always be images. Um, now my first button is the home button and it's called button hyphen home. And if I view the properties of this file, it's a PNG as well. So I'm going to be able to put that button into my code. Let's find the code again. Here we go. Now this is a navigation bar. So this is where my navigation bar will be. Uh, I'm also going to use a center tag. I'm going to use my IMG tag SRC. And if you remember, it was images. Um, I think I called it button hyphen home dot png and I'm going to close my center tag. Now if I save this um, and refresh my page, the idea is to constantly test that it's working the way you want. Perfect. Now this is probably too big at this stage and that's where I'm going to use my either my width or my height to resize it. Okay. I'm first going to put a few more buttons. Um, I'll pause the video, put them all and then we'll see what happens. Okay, I've now added all my buttons. I've used five image tag, IMG tags, with all my five names. And when I preview my website, this is what happens. Now, it looks good, but my buttons are a bit too big, so they don't fit um, in my navigation bar. So I'm going to tweak my code, and I'm going to resize my buttons. Now, I told you that you could use the width to resize the buttons. You can also use the height. And in this case, I'm going to use the height uh, for one reason, I want all the buttons to have exactly the same height, where they may have different widths depending on the text that appear within those buttons. So I'm going to set a height of, let's say, 60 pixels, see what happens. Um, and I'm going to do that for all of them. So I'm going to control copy this, control C and control V to copy and paste. Um, so I've got all my buttons to exactly the same height, so they would be lined up properly. Let's try and see what happened here. Let's refresh the page. Perfect. Now, if I find that 60 is a bit too small, I can actually maybe make it 70 to make them slightly bigger. Um, but that's looking good. That's what I wanted. And finally, I'm going to add one more picture and that's going to be my animated, animated banner. So once again, I'm going to my folder. And this is um, the animation that I want, water park animation. And this time, uh, if I look at the property, it's not a PNG, it's a .gif. So I'll have to make sure I use that when I put my IMG tag. So let's go back to my code, water park animation. And I want this to be in the right hand side panel. I am, I'm also going to center it. So I'm going to use my center tag. And in the middle, I'm going to put my IMG tag. So IMG SRC equal water park animation and that was a dot gif. Oh, I forgot to put the folder name so I need to make sure I've got that here and when I run it hopefully I should see my animation here. Okay, 
Now sometimes we get that and it doesn't seem to work and the reasons for this is because I've got either the folder name wrong or the file name wrong or the extension like .gif for instance or .png wrong. So I really need to compare my code. So I typed images which I'm 100% sure is the right folder name. Oh I'm not sure about my file name and I believe my extension was .gif. So I need to check my file name into my folder water hyphen park hyphen animations. You know what? I am missing a hyphen in my file name and that's why it's doing this. Okay, so let's save this. Let's go back to my website. Let's refresh it and perfect. And you can see this is an animated GIF um, which add a bit of interactivity um, to the website. Well, that's it. I showed you how to add PNG files. Uh, I didn't put any JPEGs, but JPEGs are basically the same as PNG, but the extension would be .jpg instead of PNG. And that's a GIF, a GIF file. Okay, perfect. Well, in the next video, we'll be looking at other aspects of the websites, uh, adding more content into the main content area. Um, but we are getting there, and we're also going to look at how to create hyperlinks between all the pages. But this is starting to look like a proper website now, so I'm fairly pleased with that. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.